the power of God, I, I don't know, but there are people God is raising to become mighty vessels. I just saw an anointing rest on you, this role. In the name of Jesus, I don't know where you are, but I pray may that grace now, let it rest upon you and shift you to a new dimension. In the name of Jesus Christ. Welcome to Christocentric Message. On this channel, you are going to get soul-lifting messages, faith-based content, prayer drills, and videos that would help you grow spiritually. Remember to subscribe to the channel, like the video you are about to watch, and comment on it. Stay blessed. Unfortunately, we live in a world where when you see predictable, ever-increasing results, we say things like, is lucky they are lucky it's just god <laughs> are we together everybody can run but nobody wins by mistake you don't need skill for performance you just need passion but for winning and for victory it says he that strives for mastery is not crowned except he strives lawfully for someone god brought you to this meeting tonight to open you up to see that it is not that god is unfaithful desire is important but it's not the only key for victory proverbs 18 and verse 1 through desire a man having separated himself desire brings you to that point of separation but he says that you intermeddleth with all wisdom are we blessed Hear me, you want to produce results in your life, it is not by luck. There are keys of the kingdom, they are called patterns. Called patterns. We are not the first to use them. Many have used them and subdued kingdoms, wrought righteousness, shot the mouth of lions. Women received their dead back to life. They went to heaven but they left the patterns. Hidden in archives that only meekness and the help of the spirit can unveil. Can I tell you this? This Bible you see is a compendium of spiritual patterns. But it takes more than an educated mind to see it. Isaiah 29. Let me show you something. Verse 11. Your name is to be hallowed. Ah. Look up, please. And the vision of all is become unto you like the words of a book that is sealed. Notice what is wrong with the book. The book is what? Sealed. Not closed. Sealed. Which men deliver to one who is learned or educated, saying, read this, I pray thee. What is his response? I cannot read it. Why? It is open, but it is sealed. Just because you open it does not mean you are seeing anything there. There is a seal. Next verse, verse 12. And the book is also delivered to him who is not learned. He said, read this, I pray thee. And he said, I cannot, I'm not even educated in the first place. There is a realm where both the educated and the uneducated stand helpless until the seal is broken. Many of you have been carrying a book that is opened, but whose scrolls are not unlocked. So he says, open down my eyes that I may behold. He was not, he was not a blind man praying that prayer. He said, what seest thou? And he said, the rod of an almond tree. He said, you have seen correctly. Are we together now? Please hear me, world over, Everywhere you see unusual dimensions of results in this kingdom, they are products of interacting with a realm that is outside of this three-dimensional realm. Whether it is demonic or it is godly, there is a limitation to what the three-dimensional realm can deliver. The moment you see unusual results, it is safe to suspect the producer of that result either that he has had an encounter with jesus or he has had an encounter with something that is not human but there are results 
that cannot be produced by humans is someone learning genuine salvation has a spiritual pattern that is why everybody in the world can be saved regardless the tribe I don't need to learn English or Igbo or Yoruba or French to be saved with my own language once I subscribe to the pattern I can be saved there is a pattern for spiritual growth you don't just grow arbitrarily no you can know you are growing and you can know you are not growing not by guesswork by following the patterns is that true there are indices we look out for you cannot give birth to a child and start flogging the child from that night and say what kind of a child are you it's 12 hours and you are not walking no because there is a law called the law of process the law of process demands that patience be given to you but after two years if the child does not walk something is wrong is that true it is safe to go to the doctor now and find out because that child's not walking after two years is violating a pattern are we together we respect patterns so much we have built institutions to identify them we call them hospitals we call them law courts these are all institutions that help to to keep patterns when someone becomes rich and not by honor not by grace not by labor you can take the person to court and there is a prison where those who try to compromise on patterns are kept do you agree with me an armed robber why does an armed robber point a gun at you and you gave to the armed robber and yet you still want the armed robber arrested you gave but what was wrong with that kind of giving <laughs> are we together would you say you were a giver in the presence of that arm robber but something left you to him so what then is giving is it really the act of releasing something are you seeing the reason why many people give and give and give and nothing happens that's for another day I'm just showing you that there is a pattern because both Cain and Abel gave one thing common between two of them is there was a giving there are spiritual patterns that control wealth and abundance this wealth and abundance that has become a serious issue two dimensions with there are those who trivialize it and say it doesn't matter I wish you a safe journey you just live long enough you will find out the importance of wealth and abundance to the overall journey of the believer then there are those who are obsessed about it and Jesus is defamed and diminished with respect to their passion to having it and the tragedy is that both will not get it the miraculous is governed by patterns the testimonies that you enjoy in this church you see one thing with mastery is that the, the, the thing about mastery is that because the laws have been mastered, the execution looks so flawless. It would take the eyes of the spirit to see what rules are being kept. Is that true? But believe me, if you watch a professional drive, he can be driving and before you know it, he's done more than 10 things and yet you didn't see it. Because of you can see a learner struggling, step one, step two. But when you watch a professional, he can be talking, he himself can forget what he's doing yet he still did it the car was not designed to respect him the car was designed to respect patterns the car does not care whether it was a male and female a nigerian or an australian that drives it the car was not built to respect men it was built to respect patterns if a sincere person holds the steering wrong it will still enter the ditch because the car was not built on emotions it was built on please pay attention to what I'm showing you because the Spirit of God is going to be speaking to you you'll be seeing why look at the gaps in my Christian experience tonight is a night of honesty to open up your heart not to condemn yourself but to say look my life has got to produce results I can tell you results are preachers they can preach a message like no other
Are we together? And we're living in days when the world is tired of a theoretical Jesus. The world is tired and frustrated because Satan is marketing and pushing options. Options. When you say God now world over, it means many things. So there has to be a people who will give credence and definitions to that name. That's why I sang that song. There must be a people who can show the possibilities that are captured in this faith life in a way that is consistent and ever increasing. Here's how the Bible puts it. John chapter 15 and verse 8. He said, Herein is my Father glorified. When ye bear much fruit. Everybody say much fruit. God does not want scanty, amateur results that cannot be reproduced. So you, uh, you come for a meeting as a man of God and somehow you know the sick were healed. Even you, you can't tell what happened. And in the next meeting, it looks like you're a herbalist. You are not sure of what happened again. Then another meeting, sinners are saved. Then another meeting after that, you see the place you can discern that there are unbelievers. And you finish preaching and you are almost crying because nobody comes out for an altar call. Listen, we must move past the realm of guessing. There is a lot of ignorance and uncoordinated knowledge in the body of Christ. So you find out that if an average believer is plagued with a situation, that average believer cannot even defend the pathway he will follow to victory. He will do things like prayer, obviously. He will do things like fasting. He will do things like sowing a seed. He will do things like touching and agreeing the blood of Jesus. He does not know which one leads to what. So the danger is that one of them will walk, but you cannot help others rise because you are not even sure of what you did. Okay, so if this man says I was healed, can you reproduce that same result? That is how to be a blessing. Are we together? Job 38 and verse 33. God asks Job a question that he's asking us tonight. Are you ready? One, two, read, please. Knowest thou the ordinances of heaven? That's question one. Don't rush the question. This is God asking, Job, do you know the ordinances of heaven? You know what the ordinances are? The rules that regulate heaven, that makes heaven the way it is. Question two. It says, can thou set the dominion thereof in the earth? That means, can you reproduce it? Job, don't you think heaven is just heaven? There are rules. There are patterns. Listen, when Lucifer rebelled, God never got up from his throne, yet rebellion was, was judged. What pattern is that? When you understand that pattern, you can be a leader and right from where you are. Rebellion can be judged without you coming there. Do you know the pattern? Listen, the pattern was captured in the Lord's prayer. Thy kingdom come. Thy... Is, it, is it not in your Bible? Hmm. What is it about heaven that does not go old? What is it about the organization in heaven? Satan is not there yet. There is order. There are doors. There are gates. Everybody does not just walk into the throne room and walk out. No. The Bible gives us a description. And here he's asking Job. He's saying, Job, in an attempt to help you understand your predicament, do you know the ordinances of heaven? And canst thou establish the dominion thereof on earth? Our fathers who have joined the cloud of witnesses today they spent their life shouting it earth i have found something that controls healing we ignore them i have found something that controls prosperity isaiah 51 from verse 1 and 2 god himself 
recommends certain personalities that embody his possibilities let me tell you how God works when a man enters a covenant with God and excels in his compliance God now personifies that person to become an embodiment of his that dimension of him that means every time you want to to get that dimension he refers you to that person so he calls himself the God of Abraham the God of Abraham does not work like the God of Isaac is the same God the God of Isaac does not work like the God of Jacob <clears throat> are you learning something tonight verse 2 read with me one to read look unto Abraham your father and to Sarah that bear you for I called him stop stop why did he put a loan there he's teaching you something he's saying this is my idea of a blessed man study him and start from when he was alone i didn't call him with anything attached to his life and then i blessed him and then i did not stop at blessing him i increased him so a blessed man still needs increase Are you learning now that means if I want to become prosperous and I say God prosper me he tells you go back to the patterns I have even helped you by personifying individuals who make it easy because men are also scriptures the Bible calls us living epistles you can walk with God in a way that if someone forgot to do his devotion in the morning he does not feel bad when he sees you you become a continuation of his Bible study your life is literally a spiritual project are we together your assignment is to use your lifetime and work with God so that you yourself can now become a reference that if God has been trying to explain something to a man and he does not understand he can tell him come to streams of joy sit quietly and watch in that watching he can say oh so this is what you are talking about hear me in God's dealing with men we are not given the liberty to invent our ways hear me when you are working with God creativity is not required is when you are now working in dominion it is dominion that needs creativity not followership followership needs alignment and yieldedness and obedience the path is already created you don't invent it follow them he says who through faith and patience have obtained have obtained time will fail me it says to talk of gideon and jephthah and barak you are not the first to come listen listen the bible says the things that are written are for time they are for our learning so that we through the patience and the comfort of scripture might find hope so if you came from a poor family with your parents as idol worshippers the bible says find comfort go to scripture and check who is similar with your pattern go and read about esther go and read about gideon what took a village girl from shushan and she became the one who sat over 127 provinces esther judged evil and never held a sword find out Man of God, you are not the first to be called into ministry. And you are not the first to have failure in ministry. Go and read the Bible and see that the apostles, when they were disciples, they tried doing ministry and they were frustrated. The Bible does not hide their frustration. They came to Jesus and said, why couldn't we do this? Even his disciples couldn't do this. And Jesus gave them an answer. Study the answer. There is a pattern in that answer that can take away barrenness from ministry out of your life what was the difference between one person who could not cast out demons and now his shadow I'm here by the spirit tonight that God will open our eyes and that this seal be unlocked 
and you will step into a level of wonder you want to become an influence hear me my dear people you know this that there is a mystery behind rising you don't just rise like that our world is a selfish world people are busy minding their business whatever will make them turn and focus on you must be a mystery can I tell you this nobody has the time to spend the rest of his life paying attention to you and your agenda they also have their plans whatever makes them to pay attention to you must be a mystery from the rising of the sun to the setting of the sun your name is to be hallowed I'm wrapping up I told you I just came to do a church tonight so that we'll pray listen you only succeed in this kingdom when you build according to pattern let me show you a few scriptures that help you the patterns of God guarantee two things please write if you're writing number one the patterns of God guarantee the glory of God. Let's look at Exodus chapter 40. Exodus chapter 40 for the sake of time. In fact, just, just be patient. Let's, let's look at Exodus 25. We'll look at verse 9 and then we'll look at 40. Please sit if you can for a minute. I'm sure you can't even remember you were standing. Exodus 25 from verse 9. Look up please. It says, according to all that I show you, read with me, after the pattern of the tabernacle and the pattern of all the instruments, it says, even so shall thou make it. Is it in your Bible? Go to verse 40, please. Go to verse 40. It says, and 40, yes. And look that thou make them after their pattern which was shown thee on the mount. That means when they wanted to make a heavenly tabernacle, God said, if it is me that you want to dwell there, you must reproduce my habitation there. You see, there's no time I would have taught you why Satan calls men his house and God too calls men his house. You remember in the Bible, there's still two of them called men their house. What is it about men? that qualifies to be a house to both God and Satan. Are we together? Yes. I share the burden of your pastor and I pray all over the globe are you praying just in a minute or two Lord, I desire fruits, results, consistency. I love you more than results. I love you more than miracles. I love you more than prosperity. But I'm in a season in my Christian experience where I need a consolation to my Christian experience. Tired of talking about a God who cannot be defended by my results. go ahead and pray do not allow your environment to eat. keep asking who is this God who is Jesus I hear he can walk miracles where is he today I hear he can raise the dead where is he today I hear he can bring increase pray who is this king of glory, the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord mighty in battle, amen. Who is this king of glory, the Lord strong and mighty, the Lord
so in my life. Jesus, the Son of the Living God, I join faith with the angel over this house, and I decree and declare every spiritual veil over your eyes that is stopping you from seeing and accessing higher and superior levels of light. The same God that opened the eyes of his servant and showed him things. I stretch my head in the name of Jesus. May that grace for open eyes rest upon you now. I decree and declare, let the book be opened and let the seals be unlocked. In the name of Jesus Christ, access light by the Spirit. Access wisdom by the Spirit. Access understanding by the Spirit. Gain mastery in the kingdom. Gain mastery in the Spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me? The version of you that God is looking for in this season, may you evolve through light to that fashion. In the name of Jesus Christ. And everything that represents barrenness in your Christian experience, I come by the rod of a higher priesthood. And in the name that is above all names, I decree and declare everything representing barrenness, it dies now in the name of Jesus. Hear me? Many of you, after tonight, and in addition to all the graces you have received, you will start having definite encounters from tonight where God will open you up and bring you to a point of mastery. Let that be so in the name of Jesus. And alongside with every prophetic word that you have received all through this conference from the servants of the living God and the angel over your house, your father, I decree and declare, agreeing in faith with them, that this is the season of your appearing. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord bless you, the Lord increase you, in Jesus' name. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. The phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.